All right, y'all, what's up, man? It's Jamel back here. So, yeah, man. Megan, let's get to it. Megan review. Let's get to it. So, the start of the movie, I'm like, what the fuck is this? I thought this was like a commercial for, or something, like an ad. Like, when the movie started, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, what is this toy shit? Like, this furry toy shit. Anyways, it goes to the robot, you know what I'm saying? So, it's Gemma, and she's the scientist or whatever that's working on this shit. She's the the engineer the like the engineer designer for the Megan doll. So there's this kid and Katie, she's in the car with her for parents and they die. Damn, am I spoiling the movie? <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, bro, they I don't care, bro. They they die. So yeah. So, most story short. So Katie doesn't like playing with people, doesn't like really playing with friends. She's not really ready for that because her parents just died. So, Katie lives with her mom's sister now. And Katie's like, if I had a friend like um, Bruce, I would never let him go or whatever. I would, ne I would never leave him or whatever. So, bingo, light bulb. She was already working on a project, which is Megan, which is the the AI robot. You know what I'm saying? It's an AI robot doll. So boom, she goes, she goes and fix it, or whatever, and boom. So, you know what I'm saying? She gives Megan to Katie, they interact. She gives her a companion, you know what I'm saying? A little acquaintance that she could have, you know what I'm saying? To play with or whatever. To cope with her family dying. Boom, Child's Play 2019 though. Megan goes haywire, bro. You know what I'm saying? Gemma didn't fix something to where Megan could control her own thoughts and her own movements and stuff like that. Like she has this pin. She tells Megan, look at the pin. She could turn her off. And me you say Megan shut off and she turns off. But throughout the movie, she doesn't listen. Like, the movie is genuinely creepy sometimes. I got chills last night watching it, bro. I honestly got chills at some parts because it was just creepy as hell. Like, it's funny, it's creepy, it's cheesy. I like it. Um, Just like Child's Play 2019, like, it was some creepy, cheesy parts. Um, but, yeah, it's like she does the dance, obviously, from the trailer and shit. She, like, runs at the dude, at the little kid, like a fucking beast, little beast or whatever. Um... Yeah, but I liked it though. Good kid actor. Gemma is a weird name, but she's a good actor, whoever that was. The therapist is crazy. The kills, okay, the kills. Kills were good. You could definitely tell they held back because PG 13 and they, you know what I'm saying, they want kids to go see the movie. They want parents to bring the kids. But I really still enjoyed the movie. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't like it didn't take from the experience. Like, you know, like, when they, like, take two, like, when it's two PG-13 on a horror movie, like, damn, like, y'all ain't even show nothing. But, you know, you get the picture. They, it might be off-screen kill, or they might finish the screen off kill, but you get the picture. They start to kill off pretty brutal, ripping ears, uh, water hose to the face, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna spoil the whole movie. But, overall, I enjoyed it. I give it, like, a... I'm saying a seven to a light eight. Um, not better than Chucky. Not better than the OG Chucky. I'm talking original Chucky. I don't even think it's better than. I think Child's Play 2019 and Megan are like the same movie. Like they, if they're gonna do a Chucky versus Megan, they they got to do though that Chucky versus Megan, not the OG Chucky. But Don Mancini already, you know what I'm saying? Acknowledged Megan, so. You know what I'm saying? Brad Dorf might be going against Megan. But anyways, yeah, and her voice. Her voice sounds like a like a like a like a adult woman impersonating a child mixed with a Siri Alexa voice. You know what I'm saying? Let me say that again. Her voice sounds like a a grown woman impersonating like a child, a girl, like a little girl with a mixture of like a Siri and like a Alexa voice. And it's pretty creepy. It's pretty iconic. You know what I'm saying? She might be a new icon. 
I don't know. I don't know if I want to say that. That might be. That might be too fast. That might be too recency bias. I don't know. But I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the character. But I don't. I just feel like, since I know it was a a kid under the mask, I don't know. I just feel like it wasn't Dolly enough. I wish they would have did animatronics, bro. That's what it is. That's why I'm gonna give it a seven. I wish they would have really did animatronics. It was a little kid. I seen the behind the scenes and it was a little kid under the mask so i don't know it's just i'm too used to chucky i just feel like animatronics would have been more excited and like invigorating like like oh my god like they're bringing it back type shit but i guess they're already doing with the chucky tv show so i don't know but yeah i enjoyed it bro it was, it was a good movie, bro. Um, now, the rewatchability. I watch it again. <laughs> I don't know why. I watch it again. My like my brother wanted to watch it or some shit. I watch it again. Like one of my family members wanted to watch it. I watch it. You know what I'm saying? Uh. I guess I'll watch the sequel, too. Yeah, I'll watch the sequel, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, like... It was cheesy. It was, like, but, like... Okay, the dialogue was a little wonky, too, but, like... Oh, yeah. The Chinese dude. <laughs> he looked like James Wan. I'm just playing. Okay. Chinese dude. His dialogue was a little wonky. I don't know, it's just like a little corny, but it's all good. But like I said, there's a part where Megan drives and I'm like, oh, this is a movie movie because how could she drive if she can't even see out the front windshield? She's four feet tall. <laughs> Y'all see where I'm going? How could she drive in the movie if she's she gets in the car, car and drives. How can she drive if she's four feet tall? She's at the steering wheel. She gets in the car. She cannot see outside the front. And I'm sure she didn't put nothing on the seat. Like, come on now. What if she got in the car and skirted off so fast? Like, oh my God. And then they did something meta in there. I'm trying to remember what it was. They did something so meta in there, like, I don't know, but yeah, but the little girl was freaking out on the therapist because <laughs> she wanted Megan. She couldn't have Megan. Uh, Jim was trying to figure out what's wrong with her. Oh yeah, the fight, like the fight in between Megan and Gemma is crazy. Like, bro, she's sitting there slamming her face on the <laughs> on the desk, punching her. The end fight, the end battle is crazy. Um, there's like she like gets it like some like she gets i ain't gonna say exactly what i want to but her face gets messed up and she gets like a cut on her face and it reminds me of chucky you know what i'm saying like they got the fungo pops is that she gonna get into a, fun, a fungo pop with it, you know what i'm saying the cut the cut megan edition anyways yeah uh yeah i enjoyed the fight for real i enjoyed the action um and the kills um and it's just not, and of course they got to build it up because this is the first movie. This movie is just not you just go into it and like Megan killing, killing, killing. Oh, Megan, 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 Megan. It's not all Megan. It's it's like really heartfelt. You know what I'm saying? It's some really heartfelt moments because the little girl is like giving her monologues about her uh, parent, parents being dead and how she like, well, she feels like they'll just be strangers and she'll never remember them. And then she gives her monologue, right? And then Megan saves it. And it's just like, it's okay. She's like, she's like, it's okay. You're not gonna never forget it because I saved it right here. And then her monologue saves to the Megan doll and then her monologue goes off and shit like that. And then, and then like the way Megan talks is just so creepy. Like she's like, she's like, like a sophisticated grown woman. And she was like, she's like, um, Gemma, have I made you upset? Yet. Your body language is showing otherwise. She'd be like, no, you didn't make me upset, Megan. 
And then Megan would just would just pop out of nowhere and like yeah, it was just creepy, bro. It's just her her dialogue is so funny, bro. She killed an animal in the movie. I think a lot of movies pretty lit. This is what I'm saying. I'm so mixed between the seven and the eight. I really like some aspects. I just didn't like a couple things. Um you heard the way Megan talks is just funny, bro. Then she was like giving facts throughout the whole movie and shit like that. But yeah. But yeah, like the way she she didn't argue, like the way she like just like she the way she has a co co confrontation with somebody is just so weird. <laughs> like the way she doesn't argue, like she like tells you and put big ass words and like it's just so funny, bro. She's like, Gemma, have I made you mad? She's like, no, Megan, why would you think that? She's like, yet your body language is telling otherwise. I will protect Katie. With all my heart, <laughs> you cannot take me away from her. You're not fit to be a parent. She's like, she's like, let's get it clear. Let's not. You're not fit to be a parent. I get it. <laughs> like, bro, I might have to go rewatch that tonight, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I, I like that movie, bro. But yeah, man. I just want to get my review on Megan, man. Yeah, have a good day, man. Yeah. Wanna grind? Subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, man. Support your mail, my ah, gang.